Greetings, Honors Chem students. Mr. Keister here with you again today. Uh, this is the video for Wednesday, November 25th, 2020, which just so happens to be my middle grandson's birthday. Happy birthday, David. Love you, buddy. Uh, and also our 68th day of school for the fall semester. Always keep in mind, though, that the dates could change for a variety of reasons, but the lessons and the order that those lessons are presented will remain the same regardless. So let's take a look at our do nows and see what the schedule is for today. Uh, today's another milestone day. Today is Wednesday, November 25th, which is our last day before our Thanksgiving break. Let me advance the screen there. So uh, here's my buddy Snoopy and his best friend Woodstock sitting there amongst a fall cornucopia, love that term, uh, which reminds me of uh, one of my favorite holiday traditions, and that is watching a Charlie Brown Thanksgiving. Love that thing. Hope you can catch it on Netflix or wherever, Hulu, one of those things. Hopefully it's on there somewhere. Uh, been watching that forever. I think it came out in the 60s, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but anyway, seriously, I do want to wish everyone uh, a very happy Thanksgiving. Uh, enjoy your next two days off after uh, today and, uh, you know, spend some time with friends and family and uh, eat away to your heart's content. Uh, whether you have a turkey dinner or, you know, whatever it is you love to eat best, uh, hope you enjoy that relax. And uh, one thing I'd like to say too is, uh, of course, it's a time, it's called Thanksgiving. It's a time to be thankful uh, for what we have. And I know in these times uh, that can be a little tough, but you know what? Uh, life is good. And uh, I am very thankful for a lot of things. Uh, not the least of which is I'm extremely thankful uh, to have been a teacher for as long as I have and in particular for teaching you guys uh, so far this year. It has certainly been a privilege and an honor to do so. And uh, and again, I, I'm thankful for not only that, but for a whole host of other things that have been bestowed upon me. And I've been a blessed person and I continue to be that. And I am extremely thankful for that. And you guys are a big part of that. Seriously, you are. So now back to the lesson. I should say back to the intro. Uh, so uh, today we're going to pick up a couple of things. The, uh, a pink electronegativity chart. I'm going to study that thing in detail. Uh, we looked at electronegativity uh, before. Uh, we're going to look at it a whole lot more again in this unit. And then uh, page 95 is our assignment uh, over ionic and covalent bonding. We're going to get started on that thing today. And then we're going to finish it up when we return to school uh, on Monday. Yesterday, of course, we had a whole lot of stuff to pick up. So today we're going to begin Unit 5, which involves chemical bonding, compound formation, and chemical nomenclature, again, which is the naming and formula writing of ions and compounds. Today we're going to start with valence electrons, Lewis dot structures, and ionic bonding. We'll get started on the assignment you picked up today and continue on with it Monday when we return to school. All right. And I'll give you the details of that uh, in the main lesson, which, of course, follows this sh short intro. Included in this unit is the memorization of the names and formulas of 24 polyatomic ions. I discussed that with you yesterday. Uh, you'll be quizzed over them three times over the course of the next four school days, after today, that is, with the first time being this coming Tuesday. So uh, when we return from school or when we return to school on Monday, you'll be taking a practice quiz to see kind of where you stand on those things. I hope you study them. All right. There's 24 of them. It's a little bit more involved than memorizing just symbols. All right. Which you've done before. Uh, but again, the knowing these is just crucial in so many ways and in so many different units that we have coming up here. So uh, make sure you're working on those. 
uh, make flashcards, use Quizlet or any other method you want. I don't care how you do it, just do it, all right? But they must be memorized. Now, I will throw out the lowest of the three quiz scores and average the other two for your final grade on it. And again, there'll be a practice quiz on Monday, the last five, 10 minutes or so of class. So you can see how ready you are for Tuesday's real thing, all right? So uh, that concludes the intro uh, to today's lesson, like we've been doing now for a while. Uh, You're going to now go on to the main uh, video for today's lesson, which of course I did in Chem 2 oh, about a month or so ago. And so uh, you may skip ahead the first three minutes and 15 seconds of that video. So just move on ahead the first three minutes and 15 seconds, and that should put you right where you need to be uh, for the main body of the lesson. Of course, that first part is stuff that's particular to Chem 2. Uh, you know, their schedule, their uh, unit numbers and page numbers and so on, which do not match up to yours. But again, the lesson is exactly the same. So skip ahead to the first 315. And uh, until then, this is Mr. Keister signing off. Take care, everyone. Stay safe. Uh, keep focused. Keep working hard. But most of all, at least for the next two days after today, enjoy your holiday. Uh, be thankful for what you got because you know what? We got a lot. We got a lot, comparatively speaking. So uh, anyway, uh, get to the main lesson. Uh, get through it. I'll explain everything there. And then I'll see you on Monday. All right. Take care, everyone. I'm thankful for all of you. I can tell you that. See you guys.